creating YouTube, I've never hidden the fact that I am deeply progressive. And I espouse the uh, concepts of progressivism at every chance I get. And I am deeply opposed to conservatism, particularly of the social conservatism variety. And one of the reasons I'm opposed to it is I very much see conservatism as here. It's a little box, and that's where conservatism lives. And the conservatism says you got to stay in the box. If you don't stay in the box, bad things will happen. And if the social conservatives have power, often the bad things will happen to you if you dare leave the box. But they're also convinced if you leave the box, bad things will happen to the world. If gay people can get married, you know, the world will end. If trans people can pee in public, the world will end. If black people can vote, the world will end. If women are allowed to have agency, bodily autonomy, the world will end. You get the point. Whereas progressivism says, we have laws. And as long as you obey those laws, as long as you stay inside those laws, the laws are this big area this really large zone that you get to live in. And you can do anything you want to within that zone and associate with the people you desire as long as everybody's consenting. Remember that term, consenting. And don't give me any bullshit about people that can't consent. Or for that matter, animals that can't consent. That terrifies many conservatives. The idea that there's all this space to move around in. They see that as chaos. They see that as the unformed void. But for progressives, that's just where we should all live. In a world where men and women can live their lives as they want without someone else defining gender for them. Where people can express their love for each other without there's being strict laws about who can get married and who can have relationships with each other, where asexual people and aromantic people are treated equally to those that enjoy sex and like romance. A world where religious people of all stripes and colors are allowed to get along together and not kill each other just because they all don't worship the same god, or in some mysterious serious reasons. They worship the same God, but they don't worship the same God in the right way. Tedious. And that terrifies social conservatives. They despise that idea. But that idea that you can, this is the space you can be in, this big space, as long as you're within the law, is the healthiest space. And that little space that the social conservatives want you to stay in, it's a prison. It's a trap. And it's going to suffocate you and everyone you love. Unless you understand that it was never really there at all. And you imposed it on yourself. And that's bad enough. If a social conservative wants to impose something like that on themselves, that's bad. I feel sympathy and empathy for them. I feel compassion for them. Because they are limiting themselves for no good reason. But when they try to limit other people, when they try to take away civil liberties and human rights from other people, that's when we have to, have to bring out the ban hammer and tell them, nope, you can't do that. And that's why we need civil liberty laws, human right laws. They say, no, you can't say, <laughs> no brown people here. Because you need, we need accommodation laws that says everyone needs to be treated equally in a place of business. Otherwise, you end up with sundown towns. You end up with apartheid. And we don't need that. That isn't healthy. That isn't how we progress. We move forward which is what progressivism, progressivism is about, moving forward. The best the conservatives have to offer, the absolute best they have to offer, is standing still in one place forever. And a lot of them are regressives. 
they want to go back to a time of the 19th, the 18th centuries, where things were even more limited than they are now, because that's an era where they think things were simpler and easier. Well, if you were a straight, cisgender, white man um, of a certain economic, social economic status, yes, things were really good for you. And if you were anybody else, they sucked big time. So, I'm a progressive, and I want us to be living in that big, open, healthy space where there's air and sunlight. And I don't want us living here. Because this is a coffin. And it will kill us all if we let the social conservatives make decisions for the rest of us. And we can't do that. So we have to oppose social conservatism at every quarter. We cannot cede an inch to them. Because they won't just take a mile. They'll take your life.